in a week. Or we'll have another one of these on in a week. But I will absolutely, there's nothing I'd rather do. It would be much easier for me to do that than I'm running again. The destination. Career Academy of Wisconsin is a tuition-free virtual public school with career-focused online To be clear, that was the third time that Trump was asked that question, and his answer all but confirmed that he will try and undermine the results of a free and fair election again. He says, of course he'll accept it if it's fair and legal, but remember, the 2020 election was fair, was legal, and still he may... Uh, Lord have mercy. Good morning, good afternoon, y'all. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome to this place that I call the mental house. With me, your illustrious host, Khadija. Okay. All right. For those of y'all who asked me, want to know if I saw the debate last night. I... I what debate? I saw a pure, sad showing, um, and it although it did pick up a little later on, further into the debate, I was just so utterly disappointed uh, because um, y'all, a lot of y'all know my mother suffers from dementia. And she comes and goes. She's strong in some areas. In some areas, she's just right off the chain, not remembering who, you know, we are not certain. A lot of things that uh, that used to come so easy and effortlessly are now a problem. So when I watched Joe Biden, I almost fainted because the Democratic a party really needs to reevaluate who is representing us. I think anybody, anybody um, can that is a that is a tried and true politician. They can take Donald Trump to task. However, the most qualified person is not there anymore. And not only that, America is not ready for a woman to be president. So knowing that, when you see Kamala Harris, she's just window dressing because she's not really qualified. She's not qualified to take Joe Biden's place. Nobody wanted to hear it. They didn't want to hear it from Hillary. And I know Hillary had way more uh, scumph and umph than Kamala Harris. So if you want to know what I gave Joe Biden in terms of that debate on yesterday, I gave him a three. And that was very hard to do because in, in my life I've never seen anything so so egregious as to watch a dementia patient um, have to or to know something in their mind. I know the frustration and not being able to get it out correctly. And it seems like that's what Joe Biden was up against. Oh. I was so disappointed. I want to know what y'all think. I mean... Now, if you want to know what Joe, uh, Donald Trump, he was just his, his same old mad self, okay, and lies. Now, if anybody in, want to vote for somebody that lies that much, then they're psychotic, their self. It's not even a matter of the free world anymore or any of that stuff. This is a matter of... You have a man up there who is really having cognitive issues because of his age. And you have another person up there who is actually a psychotic psychopath. And y'all don't seem to know the difference. A lot of y'all are, are so sad that 
Y'all think this is a damn game show uh, or TV series. This is real life, and this man is representing our country. And in terms of even who is more diplomatic, who knows how to run a country, you have to give it to Joe Biden. Let me tell you something. When Donald Trump was a president for four years, nothing positive he did. There's nothing tangible that I can put my hands on that he did that affected me except hold up um, our Social Security or hold up our payments or hold up our unemployment. This shut down the government. Whereas Joe Biden has actually shown true leadership. Okay? And his team around him is showing um, true leadership. Now, the only way we can salvage this is to um, either let him get an, uh, a different running mate or just change the, cat, the, the, the uh, candidate altogether. Because I just don't think the way Joe Biden is right now, um, nobody has confidence in him. And then they certainly not going to want to turn the uh, country over to Kamala Harris. Hell, if they didn't turn it over to uh, uh, Hillary Clinton, and she's a white woman, what would make y'all think they would want to turn it over to Kamala Harris, who is not a black woman? Uh, she's a person of color, okay? And she pretty much let us know where she was coming from from the beginning. All I can say was that was a pure shit show. I'm totally um, knowing that the Democratic Party is in trouble and hoping that they will do something before it's too late. What say you? Let me know what y'all, if anybody heard the uh, or saw the debate last night and just what was your take on it, okay? I'll cut. I like to hear it. And uh, if you like what you hear, subscribe and share. Look, it don't cost nothing, y'all, for you to hit the like button. Y'all hate the, the video that bad? If you do, then put a dislike button. Just engage. It helps the algorithm, I promise you. It helps keep me in rotation. And it helps my channel to grow. So I would really appreciate it if y'all would have some engagement with me. Um. I would really appreciate it. I really would. So with that being said, if you like what you hear, like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next video.